Welcome to Discussion 6 and Hypothesis Testing. In this lesson, we're going to examine three cases for the critical value. And you might subtitle this, Learning to Read HA, brought to you by the infamous Dr. Dog. We have only one null hypothesis, and we have three possible alternative hypotheses. In other words, we're going to accept one null hypothesis based on the claim made by the problem, and then we're based upon the wording of the problem, we'll select from one of three possible uh, alternate hypotheses. Of course, the null hypothesis is, is H0 and its mu is equal to some value, or H0 P is equal to a value. Our alternate hypothesis can be mu is not equal to a value, mu is greater than a value, or mu is less than a value. So it could be not equal to, greater than, or less than. And of course, you can replicate that for P, which stands for the true percentage of the population. In order to interpret HA and find a critical value, you have to use HA to draw the picture. Now, let's take this one just a minute, this first possible alternate hypothesis, which says mu is not equal to a value. Notice that not equal sign. That means that our error is trapped on each end. In other words, we have a confidence level at a given percent, and if a Z, the z-score that produced the boundaries for that confidence level are what we call the critical values. One will be negative and one will be positive. If our confidence level was 90 uh, percent, then our negative Z and our positive Z would be negative 1.645 and 1.645, just like you would do in a confidence interval. Now, the one subtle shift we make when we read an uh, uh, alternate hypothesis that moves not, we know that our curve has the fail to reject region in the center and the reject H0 regions on each end. So what we've got to do is identify our critical values in terms of Z or T, depending on whether it's a large sample or small sample, so we know where the boundaries are. Notice that one of our conclusions can be to reject H0. The other conclusion is to fail to reject H0. Now, you may ask yourself, well, why didn't we just say accept H0? Well, we know they're lying. We just can't prove it, so we say fail to reject H0. If we take a sample in our X bar, or our, our not X bar, but our Z score that we're going to test in step four falls in that fail to reject region, then we're not going to reject H0, and we're going to assume that H0 is true. If our, if our uh, test statistic goes outside of our Z boundaries, we're going to reject H0, and then we're going to accept the alternate hypothesis that mu is not equal to that given value. Now, the third of these possible curves is that mu is greater than a value, or p is greater than a value. Notice that mu greater than. You see the way the arrow is pointing, mu greater than a value? Go down to that curve. Notice that that arrow points towards the place where we put the rejection region. In this particular case, we have, again, what is called a one-tail test, where all of our error is trapped on the right side. If we had, say, a 95% confidence interval, then we have 5% in the rejection region, which means that our z-critical value would be 1.645. Pretty interesting. Now here we have the reverse scenario where mu is less than a value or p is less than a value. Notice that the way the arrow points, it points us directly to the rejection region. And if again our, our confidence level is 95%, then our rejection area of 5% will be trapped on the left side. And we would have a Z critical value, which would be negative, of negative 1.645. Hopefully this little discussion is drilling into you that there are three possible alternative hypotheses. And depending upon the alternative hypotheses that we select, we then are able to draw the picture and figure out what our critical value boundary is. And if our, uh, we, our little test statistic we're going to do in step four falls in the reject region, well, then HA is going to be true. And if it falls in the fail to reject region, then we're going to accept H0. Well, we'll move on to further discussions.